Alright, g'day guys and welcome back today to another Obsidian video. Today we're going to try and answer a question that some members of the community keep asking and that is how does Obsidian handle uh, lots of data and copious amounts of data? And for anyone coming from Realmworks you would know that some of us reached a point where Realmworks did not like how much data we had thrown at it. Um, and while they did the 64-bit upgrade it certainly handled a lot better. Um, there was always a point where you kind of went too far. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm pretty famous for pushing the tool for going too far. And so I thought, well, what better way to test Obsidian than to load in a, a whole heap of my original Realmworks content in order to see what it can handle. Um, and for anyone whose ears just spiked up then, um, Farling, who has famously created the Realmworks community tools for importing and exporting content in and out and uh, formatting the outputs in different ways like HTML, he is completely on board from what we're seeing um, with getting Obsidian up and running for us. He's already updated his output formatter tool to support a, um, a markdown format, which basically means you can literally export into your vault folder structure and Obsidian will pick it straight up. Um, and so what we're going to do now is jump over into Obsidian and show you some of the copious amounts of content that I have imported and you can see up here a nice visualization of that um, and see how it's handling and uh, you know what, I'm pretty impressed. Let's jump over and have a look. Alright, so here we can see my demo vault. Um, and you can see I've got some new folders that uh, have been added since the last time we ran the video. Um, I think where we left off we just had a couple of these topics here. But now I've gone through and I've added in some other stuff and I'm just going to click around and show you, you know, just how quick the tool is working. Um, you can see here a lot of these, um, these topics that you're seeing have been imported directly by um, Farling's import Oh, sorry, output format tool. Uh, it's creating links, it's creating tables, it's formatting the data in a really nice way. So I have not spent uh, probably any more than about 15 minutes doing this other than the actual time it takes to get the data out of Realmworks um, and then into this tool. So it's working really well. Interesting, looks like those ones did not work, but that's all good. All right, so as you can see, the tool is functioning really well. And to give you an idea, I think I've got upwards of probably 20,000 uh, notes in here at this time, maybe more. Um, last count was about 16,000 and uh, that was before I put my Forgotten Realms interactive atlas into this thing and some of you may remember this thing. This was um, this thing was massive and it was literally like the Forgotten Realms map with every topic made for all the different locations around and it was all pinned and all that sort of stuff. So there's a lot of content in here. Um, probably more than I'll ever actually need, but it was one of those projects where you just kind of go down the rabbit hole and keep going. So what you want to see though is this graph view and graph view is going to show us everything together. And it's going to take us a bit of time <laughs> uh, because this is the one screen in Obsidian that is not handling well with the amount of content that I've put in here. And in, you can imagine why, right? Like this tool visualizes one node for each node. Um, I've turned off tags and I've turned off attachments for performance improvement, uh, but you can turn those on as well. <laughs> and that makes it even bigger. Uh, but it's basically visualizing all of the nodes going through and making joins and lines between all of those nodes to show the links. And yeah, as you can see, the frames per second is taking a bit of a hit. So <laughs> we'll just let it do its thing. I gotta admit, it's pretty impressive to watch years of work just get visualized like this on the screen. All right, here we go. You can see how sluggish this now is. It's uh, it's really struggling with uh, how much content I've put in there. And if we start to scroll in, you can start to see all of the content. You can see I've got some colors that have been set up over here for, for different filters and things. And as we zoom in, you can sort of 
start to see the crisscross network of joins that Realmworks made over the years. Oh, Rob, if you ever watch this, mate, you did make a fantastic uh, linking tool. Jesus, look at that. Let me zoom back out. All the ones around the edges, they're unlinked. So that's actually the Forgotten Realms interactive calendar. Oh, no, I've grabbed something. It's all going to move now. Um, I never actually got around to linking most of that. Um, for anyone who's really close to the project, you know that um, it basically broke Realmworks at the time and worked with the developers for a long time, but they couldn't necessarily get it back up. So what I have is a, a very large map with a lot of pins on the, uh, the Forgotten Realms. And these topics are all basically pinned um, at some point to that map or used in some way. So, yeah, as you can see, I've actually clicked a, a, a note here and it's trying to load that up. So this will give you an idea of just the performance hit that this window is taking. Um, and as we can see, though, now that we're back in here, we're straight back to being able to use our tool in a really efficient way. So I really think that, you know, like this, this tool, this tool can handle what, what I want to throw at it. I've not seen anything handle this amount of content like this. It just means that that graph view, if you're going to get that screenshot for, for posting up so people can see, or you just want to sit there and goggle your work and enjoy it, you're going to have to wait because it is just, it's, it's not liking it. It's so cool to watch though. I really enjoy it. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Um, hopefully it answers the question for a few of you of how does Obsidian handle uh, obscene amounts of data? Um, <laughs> I would say it can handle it for the most part. Just try not to use this view. Not that you could use this view with this much data anyway, because it's, 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 it's a chaos. It's a chaotic mess. It kind of reminds me of cancer. <laughs> it's like just growing. <laughs> And I'm not finished, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep exporting out of Realmworks and throwing more in here just to see if I can break this thing. Um, but at this time, I can't. So um, hats off to Obsidian. I'm I'm really really impressed. So once again, if you are enjoying this content, please do like and subscribe. There's going to be more videos. There's going to be more tutorials. Um, I'm also in the process of uh, setting up a Patreon. I've had uh, a few people reach out and request that I do that. So uh, I'll be communicating that in the near future. Um, and then, yeah, if you've uh, got anything specifically you'd like to see or you've got any questions, uh, we are very active currently in the Facebook group, which will be linked in the description below. Um, we are also uh, got a lot of conversation happening in the official um, Discord channel for Obsidian. Um, and what you need to do is find the, uh, the TTRPG uh, channel inside of that group. And uh, there's a lot of really cool conversation happening there. And we're in contact with the developers directly who are creating RPG plugins, which are really uh, making our world uh, a better place. So thank you to everyone who's uh, involved with this so far. It's, it's a fantastic tool and uh, I'm really enjoying it and uh, looking forward to us uh, actually slowing down and trying to bring a little bit of... Uh, structure to my chaotic world so uh thanks guys enjoy your day and i'll speak to you on the forums